Now we know how to integrate sine and cosine and use inverse trigonometric properties. But what about reciprocal trigonometric functions like secant or cosecant? Firstly, let's consider some important trigonometric identities. Firstly, one that everyone should be familiar with is that sine squared a plus cos squared a equals 1. However, we also have that sec squared a minus tan squared a equals 1 and cosec squared a minus cot squared a equals 1 where sec a is 1 over cos a, cosec a is 1 over sin a, and cotan a is 1 over tan a, or simply cos a over sin a, as tan a equals sin a over cos a. So let's consider the integral of 1 over cos squared x dx. So we just discovered that sec x equals 1 over cos x. Hence, sec squared x must equal 1 over cos squared x. And hence we can rewrite the integral of 1 over cos squared x dx simply as the integral of sec squared x dx. However, if you look up the integration tables, there will be no answer for the integral of sec squared x. However, instead, if we look in the differentiation tables, we see that the ddx of tan x equals sec squared x. Hence that means that the integral of sec squared x dx must equal the integral of the ddx of tan x or simply tan x. And hence the integral of sec squared x dx is simply given by tan x plus c. In the next example, we have the integral of 1 over cosec x dx. We know that cosec x equals 1 over sine x. So that means that 1 over cosec x must equal sine x. And hence the integral of 1 over cosec x dx can be written simply as the integral of sine x dx. And now if we integrate sine x, we simply get minus cos x plus c. In the last example we have the integral of sec x tan x dx. So here we know that sec x equals 1 over cos x and that tan x equals sin x over cos x. So we can rewrite this integral as the integral of 1 over cos x multiplied by sin x over cos x dx or simply the integral of sine x all over cos squared x dx. Here you will observe that the top line, sine x, is a multiple derivative of the bottom line, cos squared x, and hence we can use substitution. If we let u equal cos x, then that means that du equals minus sine x dx, or simply that minus du equals sine x dx. And hence our integral can be rewritten as the integral of sine x dx, so minus du, all over cos squared x, or simply u squared. And now when we calculate this integral, we'll have minus by minus 1 over u plus c, or simply 1 over u plus c. And as usual, our final step is to replace u. So our final answer is 1 over u, which is cos x plus c, or simply sec x plus c, as sec x is 1 over cos x. An alternative way is to look at the tables themselves. Again, if we go to the differentiation column, we'll see that d dx of sec x equals sec x tan x and hence that means that the integral of sec x tan x dx equals the integral of the differential of sec x or simply sec x plus c. So this example highlights the fact that although the question here could have been done using substitution an easier approach was to be familiar with differentiation tables themselves.
So when it comes to these reciprocal trigonometric functions, not only do you need to know how to integrate them, but you also need to know the differential rules that you will have learned back in differentiation.